What up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jess, welcome back to another Madden 15 video. Today they released two new uh, positional sets, which is 99 Jason Kels for the Philadelphia Eagles, who is a center, and then we have 99 overall, I hear the big diggable. Can somebody break it down and how to say his name in the comment section, please? You know how, like, if you want to say... You know, um, they break it down like syllables on how to say something. How do, how do you pronounce his last name? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, we're just going to call him James, right? His, his name is Jason, right? Is, did I mean? Okay, it was just Okay. But nonetheless, now let's go on ahead and show you guys uh, Kels or Kelsey. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. But uh, nonetheless, let me go all the way down. Let me pick the last one. That way I know this guy is going to be bought while doing the commentary by Juan Hanna. So um, I did not need... Either one of these bad boys today, which I was excited for. I could save my coins. Unless somehow that they were better than uh, the guys I already have at the position. So, uh, this isn't the first 99 center because we have Webster. And uh, James isn't the first 99 str uh, strong safety because we have 99 camp chancellor. So, I definitely didn't need either one. But, let's go on ahead and show, um, let's compare the two. On why I believe like Webster's definitely the way to go. Uh, he's gonna be more expensive, but I definitely think he's worth it. So uh, right here we have you see on the screen those are Mike Webster's stats. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the cards to uh, compare them because whenever you know I'm not gonna be playing, I'll loan the cards to another streamer so I can watch my guys play. And this is how I get a, a fr I say this all the time, but I like just watching them. You know, he'll stream. He plays a lot of games. I just watch my guys and how they do, and I kind of give them my uh you know i grade their performances but nonetheless man um let's go on ahead and uh compare the two so first thing you notice right away is that uh you look at mike webster the ultimate legend and he has 97 strength so he has pl uh, plus four strength he's going to be stronger he's going to be able to go on ahead and uh you know get more pancakes because he's he's stronger you know, uh, agility plus one for Kels. I don't really see that um, being a factor in anything. Now, acceleration, Kels is faster. Um, you look at uh, Kels' acceleration with 90, and then you have Webster acceleration with 88. Awareness, Kels has 92. Ultimate Legend uh, has 95. And you would like to think that's just going to help him pick up more blocks and pick up blitzes and things like that. At least that's what you would think awareness for linemen. Uh, should be able to do but let's get to the meat potatoes of these bad boys let's get to what's really important you notice 94 pass block for kels and 99 run block for him and you take a look at ultimate legend uh webster and he has nine uh, he has 100 run block and he has 96 pass block so um he's he's better at blocking both. <laughs> uh, even though you can't go wrong with 99 run block, but Webster does have that extra point to make it 100. And pass block, he's plus 2 when it comes to that. So when it comes to just flat-out blocking, Webster is uh, better, a little stronger. Definitely um, the way to go if you're going to go on ahead and pick up a center. Now, this Kels is going for right now 380. Webster's median price is about 550. So um, he is going to uh, be... A little bit more expensive, but, I mean, he, he's the better card, as you can tell. Even though you can't go wrong with any 99 at any position, but he's definitely just the better card. Um, you know, better run blocking, better pass blocking, more strength, better awareness, and things like that. So, uh, speed for center, I wouldn't say it really matters because, you know, they're never really going to be in a pulling situation or anything like that. Now, for guards and tackles, that can make a big difference. If you have a really fast guard you know, who can, you know, clear a path if he can get out in front of you with enough speed and acceleration. That makes a huge difference. For a center, I don't really see that making that big of a difference. But uh, Kels is definitely a good card, but I think Ultimate Legend uh, Webster is definitely better. Now, here we go. We have James. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I had Hedigbo. I had Hedig. I don't know. I'm not even going to try anymore. Okay, so let's go on ahead and take a look at his stats. 93 speed, 88 play rec, 90 zone. 92 pursuit, 96 hit power, 76 man coverage, 92 acceleration with the height of 6'1". So we are going to go on ahead and compare him to Ultimate Legend. Well, not Ultimate Legend, excuse me. Um, well, I, uh, Grandmaster Edition, I'm not exactly sure what it is you want to uh, consider him. But nonetheless, um, 
You know, he has the speed advantage on Cam. He's plus one speed, but Cam does have plus two in height, definitely making him a little bit more valuable in my eyes already because, you know, safeties is your last line of defense when it comes to, you know, deep passes. And uh, being 6'3 definitely helps with being able to, you know, bat down some passes knowing that face catching is so huge this year and it's so difficult to stop. And the taller you guys are, the little better it is to, you know, defend that. Um, okay, you take a look at uh, play recognition, and you see that uh, James has a play rec of 88, and then you go on ahead and you take a look at uh, Cam Chancellor's play rec, and I am looking for it, and it's 85. So a little bit more play rec, which is definitely uh, an important thing for me. I definitely love play rec. You know, play rec just always seems to keep your guys around the ball more often than not. You know, uh, like when I had 98 Troy Palumalu, who I highly recommend. He just always seems to be around the ball. He just always seems to uh, take the right angle and read routes so well and jump routes because his play rec is just so high. Um, so I definitely, you know, give James the advantage, you know, when you're comparing because his play rec is a little better. And I'm a big fan of play rec. Now, zone coverage, Cam has 93. James has 90, definitely uh, an advantage for Cam having plus three zone. A lot of people on Twitter are asking, how is James even a 99 overall card? Um, I don't know. Like, when you look at it, when you com when you truly compare him to Cam Chancellor, like, uh, Cam definitely has that plus six hit power. You know, um, he has 91 tackle. You know, he has 90 awareness, 95 acceleration. You know, he has more acceleration, so even though James is faster, acceleration just means that Cam is going to be able to hit his top speed maybe one full second quicker than James would, and that could be the difference between shoving somebody out of bounds or just completely having the running back outrun you. You know what I mean? So um, his jumping is 99 for Cam Chancellor, and uh, you take a look at James jumping, which is 93. So Cam is definitely the better deep ball uh, threat to try and stop deep balls. With 99 jumping and being six foot three, that makes him definitely dangerous. One thing that Cam uh, doesn't have that great is catching. Only 68 catching, where James has 73 plus five catching is definitely big. But after looking at the two, I would definitely just prefer Cam. You know, uh, being taller, uh, more acceleration, way more hit power. A little bit more zone with a little less play rec. I mean, you give more zone, but you take away less play rec. So it kind of evens out. And, uh, you know, Cam was just that 102 hit power, just, you know, it, it makes a big difference. And he's been causing a lot of fumbles for me, just wrecking a lot of havoc. Uh, he's just somebody who hits very hard. But uh, Cam Chancellor is extremely expensive. He's over a million coins, where James right now is going for half of that. So uh, by no means would I say, you know, not get uh, James and save up for Cam, because that's a lot of saving up to do. You know, between Webster and Kells, that's 200K. I would suggest, you know, save up 200K, get your card, you know, get the 99 Webster. But for James, as of now, he's 500. That's half of what Cam is going for. I would just go with James, you know, because saving up another 500K is not easy to do. So I would just, you know, recommend getting James. But, I mean, obviously, if I had to pick one of the two, I would just go with Cam because that hit power is a huge difference. But those are the two newest um, members of the positionals that came out this week. I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Does anybody have these cards? Have you played with them? I would love to know how you think they perform. How do you think they do? Um, even though I'm pretty sure they're both going to do good. You know, any 99 overall card is going to play well. You know, let's be realistic. Um, you know, I would just love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on how well these cards do. That's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed just showcasing the two new Ultimate Legends. I keep saying Ultimate Legends. The two new positionals that came out today. Um, again, if any of you guys got them, I would love to know. It's your boy, GS. We're going to go ahead and sign out. Peace.